hello and welcome to my channel today's video we are going to be making these little travel cup keychains I will be using a number four medium weight yarn and a 4.25 millimeter hook this is a crochet along so I will be doing every stitch with you and I will also be providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, you can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I will be starting with a knot with the loop on the end as if you were going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, and chain one and that does not count as a stitch that just attaches our yarn to our loop and for row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop going over top of our tail one two three four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten increase eleven and twelve row three we are going to be going in the back loops so instead of going under both sides of the v in your stitch you will be going down through the middle of the v and coming out the back to do your single crochets so for row three, in the back loops, we are going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. So down between those V's, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and last one, twelve. Row four. We are just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Row five, we are going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Row six, we are going to do twelve single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Row seven, we're going to do twelve single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Row eight, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that pattern all the way around for a total of 18. So one single crochet for one, one increase for two and three, and then we're going to repeat that all the way around. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row nine, we are gonna do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18. Row 10, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row eleven, we're going to do eighteen single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row 12, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row 13, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Row 14, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and on this 18th stitch we're going to grab our yarn and pull up and leave those two loops on the hook because we're going to change our color now. So I'm going to be switching to gray. So I'm going to cut my old color, then I'm going to grab my new color, and I'm going to tie the two colors together nice and close to the hook, as tight as I can. I'm going to tie it two or three times there. So one. And one more. And 
and then you are going to grab your new color and pull it through the two loops of your last row to finish off that stitch. And now row 15, we are going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row 16, we are going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and on this eighteenth stitch we are not going to finish it. We're going to grab our yarn and pull up Leave those two loops on the hook again because we're going to change to our white now. So I'm going to cut my old color. Grab my new color. And again, we're going to tie that nice and tight as close to the hook as we can. Old color to the new color. And I do mine two or three times. Whoopsie. Then you're going to grab that new color and pull it through those two loops to finish off that last stitch of the row. Row 17, we are going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're going to just take a little break here and add some stuffing because all our next rows are going to be decrease rows. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want this flat and I will have do something at the end that helps keep this flat. But when we're stuffing it, we want to try and make sure that we're kind of holding that flat so it keeps its shape. You don't want it to be like this. You want to kind of keep that finger there or the palm of your hand. And you just want to pack that in nice and tight. Now I like to do little bits at a time because it's very easy to overstuff here. And you don't want to see your stitches coming through. 
or your stuffing, sorry, coming through your stitches. And I'm kind of shaping that as I'm stuffing it. So now when I feel like I have the bottom firm enough, I'm going to put a little bit more up in the top and kind of stretch it out to the sides a bit. So I'm turning it and I'm pushing it out right where we did those, um, the increase row from 12 to 18. All right, that's probably good for now because we want to have a little bit of room left to do our decreases. So I have it stuffed probably to about right here. So let's get our hook back in. All right, for the next row, we are going to be going in the back loops again. So remember, we're going to go down between the V and out the back loop. So for row 18, in the back loops, we're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one. And a decrease for two, three, and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six. seven and a decrease for eight nine and a decrease for ten eleven and a decrease for 12. Now we only have one row left, so we're gonna add whatever stuffing we need to now. And we wanna kinda push it out to the sides, but have the top stay flat. So I'm just gonna kinda push it to the side. So I kinda turn it around. Um, again, watch you're not overstuffing it and opening up your stitches. You don't want to see your stuffing. And you want to kind of have it so your sides are coming up straight. I think that's probably enough. So if you're happy with how much stuffing you have in, you're going to reinsert your hook and we will do the last row. So for row 19, we are just going to do six decreases all the way around for a total of six. And make sure you're going in the next stitch. So one decrease. Two decreases. Three decreases. four decreases, five, oops, five decreases, and our last decrease, six decreases. And then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then tie that off, leaving enough of a tail to close this hole in the top. And I'm going to take my stitch marker out. You can just double check that it's stuffed enough to, if you need to add a tiny bit in that hole. Uh, mine is good enough, I believe. 
So grab your darning needle. Uh, this one, I guess. Thread your yarn onto your needle. And then we are just going to weave in and out of the top loop of this last row of stitches. Oopsie. And then when you're all the way back around to the start, you're just going to pull that close nice and tight. And then I go over into my next stitch and I tie my knot. I'm just doing one, but you can do a couple if you need to. And then I'm going to go back down in the center and come out somewhere in, in the back or bottom or however you have it turned. And I like to give mine a little pull here, get that little knot on the inside there, just popped in. And I'll give that a little cut. And now we'll make the little handle and straw. I don't know if that'll stand. No, maybe. Okay, so grab your mug color. Um, for the handle, you're gonna leave a little bit of a tail, six to eight inches long about. Tie your knot with a loop on the end because we are going to make a chain for this one. And we are going to chain about eight. I'll be doing eight if you want to make it a little bit longer. Um, you can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're just going to grab your yarn, pull it through so you can tie off, leaving another length of tail so we can attach that to the cup. And then let's make the straw while we're at it. So you again are going to leave about six to eight inches. Make your knot with the loop on the end because we are going to be chaining again. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now in the second chain from the hook, we're going to slip stitch all the way down. So the one on your loop does not count. This is your first stitch. This is your second right here. So slip stitch. One, two, three, and four. Then you're just going to tie that off again, leaving a bit of a tail for attaching that. All right, so grab your darning needle and decide where you want to have this little step. So um, the first one I did, I had that in the back, so I put my handle here. Um, the second one I did, I decided I want to add my keychain right here to try and hide that. So if my keychain was here, I wanted my handle just a couple stitches ahead of that. So grab um, the one you just chained. So I'm going to put this, uh, 
I will key chain that. So I'm just going to come a couple of stitches over in the gray. Try and go straight down and then pick a stitch about three rows down. So one, two, three, and I'm coming out. That's where we're going to be tying both ends. And I just pull that a little bit to get that knot on the inside of my stitches. Then we're going to thread the other end. Try and bring it down in a straight line and then put your needle in where you want that to go. So I'm somewhere around our 18 increase row. It might be one stitch too far back here, but. So two or three, I'm gonna go three rows down. It lines up a little better. So again, I'm coming up three rows this way. And then I'm just going to pull that so that knot right there is on the inside. So there's our little handle. Oops, I accidentally pulled it back out. There we go. Then we're going to tie um, our two tails together. You want them to be tight enough that if you pull on the handle, you're not going to pull your handle out, but you don't want to make your um, handle too tight so it doesn't kind of pull out like this. And then once you have that tied how you want it, you're going to put those ends back on and then hide them out through the other side of your project. So back in that same hole and just go out somewhere on the other side. And we'll give them a cut. going to grab the straw. So that's the one we did our slip stitches down. I'm going to pick one end to thread my needle and we are going to go down the very center and out the very center. Maybe. I can feel it there. I don't know what's stopping it. Oh, it's a curved hook. I forget that sometimes. So coming right out. Then I'm coming around um, with my hand. Which way do I want to go? My handle down, I think. It's gonna go this way. Yeah, with my handle down, I am going to go around this row and then come up one or two stitches over. And this is where we're gonna be tying these ends. Now you're going to do the same thing with the other end, only instead of going in the center, you're going to go one stitch towards the handle. So you're in that stitch with your other one. So you're going to go one stitch over and then come down to the center of your thing again. Trying to double check that you're not losing the shape. And then this time you're going to come around this row on the handle side and then out where your other string is. So what this is going to do is when you pull on these, you can kind of make the bottom flat and the top come down a bit. See. Just be careful 
um, that you're not pulling your string so tight that you're breaking anything. So if you're happy with um, how tight, how you've tightened those, you're just going to give them a tie. And thread those somewhere. So this is my back here. I'm going to thread them out that end. Just anywhere. And give them a cut. And then if you grab your gray, we will add the little lines on the front. So I've just got a little scrap of gray. And this is kind of my back where I'm putting the keychain on. So I want to have this about the front. So I just kind of hold that like this. And I want to make sure I see it. So maybe right about here, one row down from the gray. And I just got to go over one stitch. We're going to be tying here and going around this stitch. So I'm going to go around this one twice. And then I need to decide how long I want my bottom line to be. And I think I'm going to start um, two stitches over and then just kind of make that even so go right there and I'm going to come out where I started Double check that you're happy with that because you can always redo it. And if you are, we're just going to tie that kind of a loose one and then a little tighter as you go so you're not pulling your gray embroidery too tight. And then we'll re thread that. Go back in that same hole and then just out somewhere on the other side. Making sure you pull on those gently so you're not tightening up your little stripe you just made. And you'll give that a trim. Double check, you can't see that. And then I have a little bit of a hole here. I'm just gonna kind of move my stitches around a little bit to fix that. Perfect. And then if you wanna add a keychain, you just attach that kind of in the corner Make sure you get around a couple pieces of stitches there and not just the one. And then you got your little cup key holder. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And as always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.